Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new design specs that is currently in beta for Adobe XD. So you can see on screen a couple of screen designs from something that I created a while ago. I'm not exactly sure what this app was intended to be, but anyway, we have a screen on the left and a screen on the right with some results displayed. So the real benefit to publishing the design specs, which is currently in beta from XD, is that it's going to make that process going from designer to developer, that handoff process, a lot more seamless. So when you've finished your design, you can go up to the share icon in the top right corner and select the newly added published design specs, currently in beta. And you can give your project a title and it reminds you of the units that your project is based on. So this is an iPhone 6 slash 7 artboard. So the units are of course iOS, but if you're working on an Android artboard or a web-based artboard, you might see something different here. And you can update the link if you've made changes after supplying the link already, or you can create a new link. So let's go ahead and create a new link and XD will do its thing. And you can then copy this link to the clipboard by clicking there, or you can open it in your default browser. And you'll see the screens from your XD project displayed, and we can click to go into one of these. And you can adjust the zoom here. And if you hold down the space bar, you'll see the hand appear, and then you can just left click and drag to navigate around the screen design. Now the default screen you'll see on the right here in this space, just shows all of the colors used within your project and all of the fonts. And you can click any of these and it will copy that font name or that color to the clipboard. And you can adjust this here as well. So you have hex, RGBA or HSLA. So it depends how you'd like to preview this or how your developer would like to preview this. And you can adjust various properties. Now what we can also do is click on some of the different elements and very similar to XD, you'll see things like the width and the height, X and Y position, rotation, font properties, colors, opacities, and any text contents as well. So as you click on different objects within your design, this panel on the right is contextual and it will show information related to the object that is currently selected. And as I'm clicking through different objects on the design, you'll also see measurements, spacing, guides, all this stuff popping up. And this is going to really help maintain that integrity as the design goes from the design stage through to development. So just clicking around, lots and lots of stuff. So essentially everything from within your XD document can be hand it over to a developer and they can see all of the different properties just easily displayed on the right hand side and you can navigate between the screens down the bottom here or you can simply click on the back arrow to go back and just get an overview of the project overall. And there we go, there's a brief look at the new design specs feature added to Adobe XD. Guys, if you'd like to become a patron of the channel and get access to the monthly private live streams, free downloads, sneak peeks behind the scenes, or just chat with me directly, there is a link in the description to my Patreon page. But as always, thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.